to the vlog. I simply cannot believe it is the end of the year and 2024 is just around the corner. I say it every single year, but the years are just going faster and faster and this year was definitely one for the books. It was a crazy year. I was very busy. I traveled a lot. I grew a lot personally and I just got to experience a bunch of really cool things. So I want to take the time to reflect on the year with you guys because there was a lot going on. I woke up this morning around 7.30 and I've had a pretty productive morning just getting a lot of admin work done on my computer and planning out videos for the new year, which is very exciting, always a very exciting time of content. And overall, just trying to set myself up to start the new year on the right foot. So I definitely got some good work done this morning. Now I want to get a workout in, so I've just pulled my little set that I'm gonna wear. And we are ready to go. I forgot how much I love these leggings. I don't remember where they're from, but I haven't worn them in a while and they're kind of like a pastel watercolor sort of print. They're really, really cute. Today's workout is probably gonna be like 40 minutes long. I really wanna do my little like strength circuit that I made up. So that in total takes about 22 minutes and then maybe I'll follow a Pilates video or something like that. But the biggest thing for me is to just keep up with moving my body because I always feel better when I do and I want to keep my strength up for when I return to the ship because I will be jumping right back into shows and it's a little bit difficult if you're not, if, I, if I'm not keeping up with my exercise and my endurance. to wash my hair every time I wash it I'm just feeling on top of the world <laughs> I typically wash my hair like twice a week so every three to four days depending on the show schedule but it just really of course depends on the week I don't have like a specific day that I do it mm. I have so much I need to get done today I've made my to-do list and it's like never-ending I have a lot of editing and filming I need to get done and then later this evening, I'm going to like a little get together with my friends. I don't know if all of my friends know I'm coming, but Jess is picking me up. It'll be really fun to see them. My hair is mostly dry now, but it's still like a tiny bit damp. So I'm gonna use this T3 Micro Air Wrap Dry situation. Essentially, it's a blow dry brush. I don't have my other one here with me, so I'm gonna use this one. I don't think I've used this before, maybe only once. I definitely need to practice with it a bit more because it's not super styled, but it worked really well. So, hair is dry. I need to do a little bit of makeup. Nothing groundbreaking, literally took me like three minutes to do. Let's talk about 2023. It's the last few days of 2023 and every year I find myself looking back and reflecting on the year as a whole. This year was probably one of my most 
transformative years. A lot of things happened for me and it was a really a big year for me, I would say. It was a really great year. It was a wild ride. I traveled so much this year. I did travel a lot in 2022, so I don't know if I traveled quite as much as the previous year, but still was a very travel-filled year and a lot of flights. <laughs> I covered a lot of the globe this year and made a lot of really great memories. So, so we're starting off in January of 2023. I started the year in Buffalo. I was home for the New Year's and had the first couple of days in my house and just resetting and starting the year off on the right foot. In January, I did also start a new contract with a different company. So this was on land in Florida and it was definitely a huge challenge for me. I really enjoyed the contract, but it was definitely by far the most difficult thing I've ever done. So we did about five or six days of rehearsals, learning the show, and then we were right into the swing of things performing, and we did not have a single day off. And I was a principal in this show, so I had a solo. The solo was about three to three and a half minutes long, and I had to perform that three to four times every single day. So it was definitely very physically demanding, very mentally demanding. Um, I had moments where I didn't know if I would make it through the contract because it was just so exhausting and really long days. We would get picked up at the airport at like nine in the morning and we would be there until 10, 11 o'clock at night and then do it all over the next day. So I really didn't have much of any free time and not a lot of time for my body to recover. So I definitely learned a lot about myself. I learned that I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was and no matter how exhausted my body might be, you know, it's always mind over matter and I went in every single day and got my job done and yeah, it was a good experience for me to try something different aside from ships and, you know, be on solid ground. I really enjoyed working with the company that I did and the cast was phenomenal as well. So I really enjoyed my time with them. I'm not sure if I will do it again just because the pay was not good enough for the amount of work that it was, but I do think that it was a really great experience for me and it's always something to fall back on. January came and went, it went really fast and then before we knew it, it was February. February I was back home in Buffalo so I returned home the final day of January. I had about a week at home and then my boyfriend came Came to visit for three and a half weeks which was the best time so we hadn't seen each other for I think two months at that point and it was just nice to have a lot of quality time together we did a lot of activities we stayed active we went bowling we also took a trip to Toronto which was so much fun I had not been there for many many years before way before the pandemic so we rented an Airbnb that was honestly so gorgeous. We had a really nice stay and we got to do a lot of really fun things. I also was extremely excited because I got invited to create some content at Party Putt, which was a mini golf bar situation in downtown Toronto. So that was a lot of fun for us to do and just a really great experience business-wise for social media. So we had a lot of fun there, but I also got to work and make some more networking connections. We got back from that trip and I think we had about a week left at home. So we did take a trip to Niagara Falls, Canada. We went shopping. We saw the falls, of course, because Callum had never seen that. So that was really nice to do. And I do feel really privileged that I have a wonder of the world so close to my house. And I kind of forget that it's such a big deal because it is just around the corner, but that was really cool to see of course and it was frozen over a little bit so some of the railings were frozen so it was very pretty winter wonderland look. Callum left at the end of February and it left me with a little under a week to prepare for my next ship contract which was Wonder in the beginning of March. So I hopped on a plane the beginning of March and headed to Port Canaveral, Florida to sign on for my fourth contract on board. Working on Wonder was one of the highlights of the year for me. It was just such a great experience and it really reignited my love for performing and I felt so proud to perform that show. I was part of cast three so I was only the third ice cast to skate that show. It was only about a year old so I absolutely love that show. I miss that show. I wish I had more time performing that show because it is just a spectacular ice show. It's I 
think my favorite show to perform out of all the ships that I've done. The cast was my favorite cast that I've ever worked with. I love them all to bits and we just clicked from the instant we met like the first day of install. So I just had the best time and March was of course the first month on board so we went through install which was a three week install um, and then we opened the show which was incredible. We got standing ovation like every single show that we performed which is crazy. I've never experienced that and also I found that my channel was growing a lot at this point which was also very exciting so I was keeping busy working on the ship and also with my YouTube of course. Going into April was kind of the same story so we were finally settled into the ship into our new room and we were in the swing of performing. We were performing seven shows a week so I definitely stayed busy when I was working there. Schedule was pretty demanding but having come from that land contract in January it felt like a piece of cake for me. So I stayed busy there. We made the most of the ports. We were in the Caribbean so I was saving a lot of money, getting a good tan, going to the beach a lot and just soaking up every moment. May rolled around and Callum came to visit me on board, which was a really great week. He was actually supposed to visit for three cruises back to back to back, but um, because of the capacity of the ship, he was only able to stay for one week. So we made the most of that week and it went by way too fast. He wasn't working on board, of course, so he just came to visit me and cruise, which was a nice change of pace for him, I think, because he would have been working, you know, 14 hours a day had he been working there with me. So it was better that he came to visit and it definitely broke up the contract for me a bit. May is also the month that I went in for my pairs debut in the show. So I was the first understudy with my friend Gleb in the cast and one of the pair skaters hurt her knee at the end of the cruise and we had shows the next evening. So we were thrown into the understudy and we just had the best time. Like it was such a new, exciting challenge and I just enjoyed it so much. I wish I was able to perform it more times. We ended up performing for about, I wanna say a week and a half and then she was back. Luckily she was obviously not injured seriously, but that was a really good growing moment skating wise for me. June was my final month on board wonder. So at this point I was starting to prepare myself to sign off and just, you know, making the most of every day. My parents also visited me on board in June. So they came to cruise for an entire week. And of course we had the best time as we always do. I signed off at the end of June and I was able to be home in time to shoot one of my best friend's engagements, which was such a exciting moment for me to be part of. Obviously it's her moment, but I've been friends with her since we were 11 years old. So to get to be there for that moment was just super special. And I'm so glad that I was able to take some really nice pictures for them that they can have for a lifetime. July was another month full of travel. So this month I flew to England to visit my boyfriend for the month, which was so incredible. I haven't been to England since I studied abroad back in 2018. So it was really great to be back, but this time I was more North. So he lives outside of Manchester so we stayed there in a small town and we did a lot of travel while I was there. We took a trip to Edinburgh which was the most magical place like it's by far one of my favorite places I've traveled to. It is unlike anything I've ever seen before in my life. It feels like a fairy tale and you just feel like you're walking around Harry Potter all the time. So I really enjoyed that trip. We did a lot of fun things. We walked so much in that city so we were able to see pretty much everything in three days. Of course we didn't see everything so I definitely want to go back one day but I feel like we covered a lot of ground when we were there and I'm so happy we went. We just took a train. It was a three-hour train ride and super easy. We also did a lot of fun day trips around England. So we visited Liverpool, we went to Chester, we went to Manchester for the day. We also visited York, which was for my 26th birthday. So I turned 26 in July and we had a really nice 24 hour getaway for that. So Callum surprised me with train tickets to York and it was such a cute little, little city or town. Is it a city? I don't know. Either way, it rained, it was cold, it was definitely the coldest birthday that I've experienced, but we had a really good time and definitely a birthday for the books. I came home at the end of July and prepared for my next ship contract, which is the Explorer of the Seas. This is a contract I'm currently on until March 8th is when I sign off as of right now, unless something changes. The month started off a little bit disappointing because I am no longer on my parents' insurance because I 
turned 26 so I had to sort out insurance which was nothing super fun but you know that's what growing up is I guess. For my contract on Explorer we were signing on in Italy and Ravenna so I had a flight to Venice which originally I was supposed to have an entire day in Venice before my sign on day which was going to be glorious but of course I ran into some flight disaster so the flight to JFK from Buffalo was cancelled right as I was about to drop off my checked luggage so I ended up having an extra night in Buffalo which turned out to be a blessing because then I got a little more time with my parents and I was able to fly the next day at the same time I made it safe and sound but I did have to go straight from the airport landing with insane jet lag straight to the ship which was a two hour drive so I had a private chauffeur take me from the airport in Venice all the way to Ravenna. I signed on, we started install that day and yeah we were already in the swing of things. August was also the last time that I saw my grandma so I visit her as much as possible when I'm home so I saw her when I came home in June and also when I came back from England before heading to explore so that was the last time that I got to spend time with my grandma face to face or like in person because once I got to the ship we were facetiming all the time. August transitioning into September brought a lot of new exciting travel days. We visited a lot of really awesome ports at the beginning of the contract. For the first half of the contract we were in Europe so I finally got to visit a bunch of different ports in Greece. I finally got to see a good amount of Croatia. We were docking in Split and in Dubrovnik every week or every other week so we got to see those ports a lot and I got to do a lot of really cool things. In Greece we visited Mykonos, Santorini, Argostoli, we also visited Corfu and we did dock in Piraeus which is just outside of Athens so I got to go to the Acropolis which was again another very special moment from this year for me. So we had a lot of really great travel days in August, September, October and October was our last month in Europe. We got to visit some new ports in Italy and also in Spain which was really exciting so I definitely made the most of those and I did document them if you want to see. I also spent a lot of the first half of the contract working on pairs with Graham so we're making progress. We've got all the lifts on the floor and now we're transitioning them onto the ice. No November was when things started to change a little bit so we did complete our transatlantic crossing over to Miami. That was about a 14 day crossing and it was pretty chill. We did have guests on board so we were still working but it wasn't too busy because we had so many sea days so we did a lot of all skates and we did seven shows on the crossing. Once we made it to Miami we had to complete Coast Guard and immigration those went swimmingly so we passed those. We also had the royal audit which is basically someone who comes on board and makes sure everything is going well. They work for royal so they're just like making sure the standard is up to where they want it to be. And then after all of that we had three charter cruises so we did not work at all during those cruises. Basically the ship was bought out by a company, they sold their own tickets and all we had to do was work the safety briefing at the beginning of the cruise on day one. We also got a new cast member, Valentina, at this time, so we did a little bit of install once the charters were finished, so we installed her really quickly, and then she was in the show for the first cruise back. Callum's friends visited in November, so we had a lot of time with them, which was really nice. That was at the end of November, just before Thanksgiving. Of course, I spent Thanksgiving on board, and now we have made it to December, which is, uh, where we are today. My parents visited me on board this month which was really special and so needed. We really had a lot of quality time together which was great and now I'm home but I am headed back to the ship in just a few days so I will be back on board for the remainder of my contract. We'll have about two and a half months left. All in all it's been a really great year. A lot of really memorable moments for sure and I'm just really grateful for all the experiences I've been able to have and all the incredible people that I've met this year as well. I've made a lot of really wonderful friendships and I'm just very very thankful. So I'm definitely looking forward to what the next year has in store. 2024 is going to be a good one. I predict there's going to be some very exciting things happening. So yeah, we will see and I'm hoping that you guys stick along for the ride because 
every day is an adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite memory from this year was or your highlight of the year because I would love to read those. Just comment that below. And if you guys have any video requests heading into the new year, something you want me to focus more on, definitely let me know. I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.